Hello and welcome in this new video tutorial brought to you by HedgeDesignTutorials.com. In this tutorial, we'll discover together how to redesign and convert a low quality image logo into a high quality vector design logo in Adobe Illustrator. Before we start, I want to let you know that this video was sponsored by WhatFontes.com, which is a font identification with based solution that is powered by artificial intelligence technology to identify fonts through images. With a big catalogue of over 550,000 indexed fonts, whatfontes.com can be the best solution to identify almost any font. All you have to do is upload in an image for the font you are looking for, then after three easy steps, whatfontes.com will recognize your font and give you a page of 60 font results to choose from. Also, please don't forget to comment below the video for a chance to win two promo codes for free to activate your premium account on whatfontes.com for three months. Before we dive in in our tutorial, let's first take a look on the logo. As you can see, this is a low quality PNG logo, so the best way to turn this into a high quality logo is by redesigning that logo inside Adobe Illustrator. Let's go to Adobe Illustrator, then from File menu, I'll select New to create a new document. In the new document setup, I'll give my document a name, then make sure the document unit is set to pixels. I will set the width to 1500 pixels and the height to 1000 pixels. Then I'll set my document color mode to CMYK. Then click the create button to create the new document. Now let's drag and drop the logo image inside the document. Then I'll scale up the image to fit it inside the document. I'll first lock the layer of the logo. Then I'll create a new layer. From Tools, select the Pin tool. Then make sure both stroke color and fill color are set to no color. I will zoom in a little. Then I'll use the pen tool to perfectly redesign the shark. Let's create another layer to design the lower part of the shark. From Tools, I'll select the Eyedropper tool to copy colors from the original logo. Let's create a new layer to create the eye of the shark. Now it's time to redesign the text of this logo, but it would be better if we can find the font that was used to type the characters, instead of wasting more time to redesign each letter. 
So what we are going to do is using the slice tool to create a slice around the text. Then I'll go to File Menu, Export, then choose Save for Web to export the sliced text. In the Save for Web window, make sure the Export option is set to Selected Slices. Then select the Slice tool from the left, then click once inside the slice to make sure the slice you want to export is selected. You can export this as a JPEG image file or as PNG. I'll click on save, then give my image file a name to save it. Now let's go to whatfontes.com. Then click the browse button. Select your font image file, then click on open to upload the image. In the next step, Wapfontes will ask you to check every image and type in the characters accordingly below. After that, Wapfontes.com will give you 60 font results similar to the font you've just uploaded. this first results page, navigate the results carefully until you find the font you need. If you can't find the font you are searching for in the first results page, you can click the advanced search button for better results. Finally, here is the exact font I'm looking for, which is the Bitsumeishi font. Now I'll click the download button to go ahead and download this font. Also, if you can't find your font in the first results given by whatfontes.com, you can copy the name of any other font that looks similar to the one you're searching for, then click the similar fonts tab to search for similar fonts. This will enhance your chances to find exactly the font you're looking for. After downloading the font, right-click the font zip folder, then select Extract All. Set a destination folder for the font, then click on Extract. Now right-click the font, then click on Install. Now let's go back to Illustrator. Then click, hold and drag to select the slices, then tap the delete key on the keyboard to delete the slices. Now from tools, select the type tool to create a text field. Then I'll adjust the size of my text. Then I'll go to the character drop-down menu in the top, then type in the name of my font to select it. Now, let's type in the text of the logo. Then use the eyedropper tool to copy the color from the original logo. Then I'll go to Object Menu, then choose Expand to expand the text. I'll adjust the position and the size of the text correctly.
now it's time to unlock and delete the original image of the logo. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please don't forget to comment below the video for a chance to win one of the two promo codes offered by whatfontes.com to activate your premium account on the website for three months. Once again, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.